U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has accused Russia of committing human rights abuses in its war against Ukraine. Addressing the United Nations Human Rights Council, he also called out Moscow for repressing domestic critics. The COI's first report in October concluded that Russia has committed war crimes and violations of international humanitarian law. As long as Russia continues to wage its war, the COI should continue to document such abuses, providing an impartial record of what's occurring, and a foundation for national and international efforts to hold perpetrators accountable. His video address comes ahead of an expected speech by senior Russian official Sergei Rybkov. Mr. Rebkov will be the first senior official from Moscow to address the council since the start of Russia's invasion. Ukraine's foreign affairs minister, Dmitry Kuleba, is also due to address the council via video message. Oh, let's speak to our correspondent Trent Murray in Berlin. Trent, given the sounds we've made coming out of the US in the last few days, weeks, months, those strong remarks on Russia not surprising at all. What purpose do they serve? Yeah, that's right. I mean, these are the same types of messages we consistently get both from Washington and also European capitals. But I think what makes this significant is that the UN Human Rights Council consists of 47 members at any one time. It's a rotating uh, base of countries from all around the world. And so you've got members on there that haven't necessarily taken a formal position in the war in Ukraine or uh, supplied weapons in the same way that the West has. And so I think what Secretary Blinken is trying to do here is speak to countries like Mexico and Pakistan for example, that are members of the of the committee and say, look, you've got a responsibility here as a UN Human Rights Council member to uphold international law, to uphold human rights law. And uh, we are presenting evidence here that Russia is committing human rights abuses, not just in Ukraine, it should be mentioned, but Secretary Blinken also made a really big point of talking about political oppression at home. He spoke of around 500 political prisoners of war, uh, sorry, political prisoners, I should say, currently in Russian prisons. Uh, and said it's that is an example of how Russia tries to muzzle any sort of political or, or civil uh, dissent within the community. So I think the audience here was very much uh, one that is not necessarily all in agreement, like we often see at places like the EU or NATO. And so Secretary Blinken trying very hard, I think, to win some hearts and minds uh, in other parts of the world, like Latin America and Africa, and to try and get them on side as he calls for UN investigators to continue to to not just probe what is happening in Russia and Ukraine, but also to keep that evidence for any future court cases or investigations that may take place. And so comments like these, they are looking to address this audience to get them, as you say, on side, given that Russia has already been suspended from the UN human rights body. Yeah, that's right. They were suspended back in April uh, of last year following that full-scale invasion of Ukraine. And so we haven't had Russia having a seat at the table for previous meetings. But we understand the Deputy Foreign Minister will be addressing uh, the, that, that group. He's already in Geneva for an, uh, an arms disarmament conference, which is quite interesting given that the US and Russia right now are having disagreements over what's known as the START uh, International Treaty, that nuclear arms treaty, basically the two big powers agreeing uh, not to to extend their arms uh, in, in the nuclear space. Uh, I think what will be interesting is just exactly what is said when that meeting is held. We've already got some signals from the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister who's held a press conference in the past few hours. Uh, he said that Kyiv and the US could end this war at any time if they just made the right decisions, though I imagine both the White House and President Zelensky would have a very different view of all of that. Well, thanks for that. Trent Murray reporting live from Berlin.